and you join me for a children's church. I thank you for coming here today. Doesn't matter what time it is or where you are, God is with us and God loves us. And so today in children's church, we're going to talk about Jesus. And the first lesson we're going to learn is how Jesus called his disciples. Have you ever gone fishing? I've got, I made kind of a, a makeshift fishing rod. And it's got like a little hook on it. And it's, it doesn't look much like a fishing rod. You guys probably, if you've gone fishing before, you probably have a really nice fishing rod. But in the day, a stick and a piece of string or, or, uh, or some fishing line and a hook would do. And so if you've ever gone fishing before, you know that um, fishing takes patience. We gotta be patient. And so we put our, if, you're, if, if, if you have something at home or just do the movement, we can pretend we'll throw our line with our hook into the water and we wait. And we've got to be determined. Like we've got to say, I'm going to wait until the fish bites. And, and there's part of us that has to be dedicated to it because sometimes it could take all day. And a lot of people like to fish all day. And we've got to know that, have faith that the fish is there and it will eventually bite the hook. And we can say that, um, that we have faith in God to provide. And so Jesus called his disciples from fishermen because he knew how dedicated they were and how determined they were and how patient they were. And we're going to hear a story in a few minutes about, about how Jesus calls his disciples. But first, we're going to pray. So we're going to pray a little prayer, and I would like you to follow along with me. And if you feel comfortable, say it with me, and I'll leave space for you to say it, to get, so we can say it together. So let's start. Dear Jesus, thank you for calling me as a follower. Bless us, all who follow you to be kind, generous, and loving. As you are all these things to those who follow you. Help us to be your helpers in this world, to be good neighbors and to do good in our world, in everything we say and do. Amen. So now we're going to hear how Jesus called his first disciples. And I have a picture here to show you, and I'll get that in a minute. So here's the picture of Jesus in the boat with the disciples. And so we're going to hear a story about how Jesus called his disciples. One morning, Jesus was standing on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and he was teaching the people. And nearby, there were two fishing boats. And the fishermen were there, they'd been fishing all night, and they were cleaning their nets. And those fishermen were Simon and James and John. Jesus came to teach to the people. And more and more people began to gather when they heard that Jesus was there. Soon there were so many people that it was hard to see or hear Jesus. And Jesus had an idea. He climbed into one of the boats and asked Simon to roll him out a bit from the seashore. When Jesus was finished talking, he said to Simon, Take me out into the deep water. Put your nets down and catch some fish. And Simon answered, But Jesus, we've been fishing all night, and we haven't caught anything. 
but if you say so, we'll go out and fish again. So Simon took the net and put it into the boat, and he put the boat into the water. When they were out in the deep water, he threw the net in. Soon, the net was filled with fish, and Simon called to his friends, James and John, and soon their boat was filled with fish too. Simon knew that Jesus was a very special person. Now, said Jesus, as they rowed the boats back to shore, I have taught you, or I have helped you, how to fish. Please help me go and teach people about God's love. So here's one of the pictures that I will send to you, and I'll tell you about that at the end, that you can color, and there'll be a craft that goes with it. But for now, we're going to listen to Cecilia and Celia sing a song for us. So enjoy. So to make our fish, and this, this is what it's going to look like when it's finished, we need a few things. So you're going to need some cardboard like this, like from a cereal box or something, because you're going to want to make a circle. And it's going to, when you, you, you make it, it's going to look like this. So, and you're going to need um, the template for the, the fin and the tail and the little, the, the little fins on the, uh, on the body. And and the lips. So, so and I have made a template for that, and it's going to have all the pieces you need. And so we're going to I'm going to show you how to how to uh, trace those out. Um, what you're going to need first is to cut all these pieces out, and they will be supplied to you. And I'll tell you at the end how how you will get the this this uh, template and uh, cut these out. And you're going to have to either Use these to trace on your construction paper, um, and uh, and and that way you can, or or you can trace it onto these this piece of cardboard and cut them out, and then you'll always have these templates to make more fish if you want to make more fish. So I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, you're going to want to choose one with some favorite colors. Um, what, if you want. If you want, if you want to do like I did with this fish, and and make two different colors, I used orange and yellow. You use orange for the body and yellow for the other parts. Or if you want to make it the same color, that's fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick your favorite color. So what I did is I I took green, and then I took my my circle, and I traced it on here. I traced it with with a pencil or. A crayon if you have whatever you have at home and then I cut it out and so I have I've got two of these and so there's two two of these so you want one for each side of the body and what I've done already is I have glued one side already on and so we're going to leave the other blank and, I'll, and I'm going to show you why we leave the other blank so when you get, if you take your template and make permanent pieces out of the cardboard, you're going to get the one for the tail and the one for the dorsal fin and the one for the fin on the side of the body. 
And so what you're going to do is trace those out as well. So, and you get your, your pencil or your crayon again, and you trace those pieces out. You're going to need two of the little fin on the side of the body. And uh, so it's going to, because you're going to need one on this side and one on the other side. Okay. So, so I've already gone and traced the pieces out that I needed. And so we glued one green piece to this side and we left one blank. So on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to put the body pieces on the, the, the mouth and the, and the dorsal fin and the tail. So we're going to need some glue. I got some glue here and we're going to glue those on right now. And so you want to put a little bit of glue. So just on, on the, on the bottom edge of the dorsal fin and, uh, just so, so it, it will be underneath the other green piece. And so we do that. And so it doesn't matter which way. And you want your, you want to make sure that your, your, your dorsal fin, the tip is facing towards the tail. So, so that's, there's my dorsal fin there. And then I have my tail. Where'd my tail go? Where'd the tail go? No, I had it here a minute ago. Well, we'll put the we'll put the the mouth of the fish on. If I can find the mouth. So I'm cutting the tail out because I forgot to cut the tail out. That's why I couldn't find it. So we'll cut the tail out. tail out just just be careful if you need to I save some pieces because I save some like scrap pieces because you never know where they might come in use for other crafts and uh, so I try not to waste too much that way I have if I ever want to do something else with some little pieces, I always have them. So there's my tail. Okay. And so we're going to, now we're going to glue that onto the body. So we're going to put it on the back. See, just like we did the dorsal fin. And so we're going to put it on the back of the fish. See, and see, that's, that's how it's going to look. So the, the dorsal fin and, and is facing the tip of the dorsal fin is facing the tail. And so we just put some glue on this. And again, we're going to just put, just put, if you got a popsicle stick, a popsicle stick is great because that's about the thickness of the glue that you want on. So it will be behind the green body and, but it'll also, it'll also hold to your fish. And so we'll just put it on like that. And see, and so it's starting to shape up like a fish. And uh, just a second and I'll grab the mouth. So I got the mouth right here and notice how it looks like a heart if you look at it. And that should remind us, you know, when um, we speak, uh, speak, speak out of our mouth, we always should have loving words. And so, so I, I kind of thought about that and so that's why the fish's mouth looks like a heart. And so we're going to do the same again. I'm going to take our glue and we're going to put some glue on it. On, on with the thickness of your popsicle stick and so and then again we're going to we're going to put it on the back on the side that that's that still doesn't have the green on it and we're going to just make it make it so it sticks out and see and then it's starting to shape up like a fish yeah and then once we have that on once we have all those three pieces on then we're going to take our other piece and this my piece is green yours might be different color and that's okay and it's whatever color you like so what we're going to do 
is we're going to glue this right on to the other side. So it's green on both sides. So our fish is starting to shape up like a fish, isn't it? So it's green on both sides. And so now we just have to add the eyes and the little fins. And again, so you're gonna take your, your fin looking piece, which is gonna look like that, which we will find on the page, which is gonna be down here. So this is your, your fin that goes on the side of the body. And I've, I've, when I put these on, um, I trace them so it would look kind of like a fish so you know which pieces are which with the tail and then you got the fin that goes on the dorsal fin that goes on top of the body and the, the, the one that goes on the side of the body and you're wanting to go you're going to want to have two of those and there's your mouth that looks like your heart and that we should say loving words always and there's your eyes and so so now we're going to put on the eyes so we'll just get our eyes here So you're going to want to put on your eyes. So you're going to need your glue again. And you put a little bit of glue on. These fish have to see. Now you're going to want to position them somewhere up, up high. So, so kind of close to the, between the mouth and the dorsal fin. Um, and you just want to tape, you want to glue them on. I guess if you, you could use pieces of paper or if you have googly eyes at home, you could uh, use googly eyes and then when you shake your fish, its eyes move all around. And so we got one on one side, so we're going to do the same on the other. And so we're going to want to put it in the same kind of same spot don't worry if they they don't match up very well like you only you can only look at one side at a time so so there now we have our eyes now we need that's the the eyeball itself we need pupils we need the you know the like the black spots in our eyes where we let the where the light comes in so get your get your crayon or your pencil or 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 a pencil crayon and just make a black dot in the middle of the eye and that way, it, uh, it, it shows that, that, the, that the fish has eyes and it can see. Or if you have googly eyes and you stick them on, you don't have to worry about that. So the last piece we're going to put on is the little, the, the little fin on the side. So what you're going to want to do is put it down and you're going to want to kind of fold, make a little fold. Make a little fold at the side. Um, so that, uh, it's, 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 uh, so it, so the, the, so the fin will stick out from the body. So, so you make that, make a fold like that and then put some glue on it. Take your glue and put some glue on it and, and stick it to stick the one side in on and then turn it over, fold your fin down so it's flat, and then turn it over. And do the same on this side, take it, and just make a fold, just make a little fold at the end, just wide enough for the glue to go out. Okay, and you wanna make sure that your fins are pointing away, are, they're pointing down and to the back. So. You want to make sure that when you, you put them on, you put them on both ways, um, that they're down and to the back. So, so we'll do that with this one. And you can kind of eye it up by looking down the fish and see where the other fin is. And then that way, you get them straight on the body and there's your fish and you can decorate it with other things like I said before I usually have pieces different pieces different color pieces that I've cut out and so you can cut those on and glue them on the side or you can do like I did with my other fish you can uh, put a cross on it I put a cross on it just kind of just, just that, that's what I thought it would look nice on the fish at the time and Another thing that I've done, and you might want to try, um, I've included 
this one piece down there is like, you know, the scales that fish have. Fish have scales that kind of help them swim in the water and protect them. And so what I did is I made, I started to make a fish. It's, it's the basic body, but then I made scales. And so I haven't finished this one yet, um, but you can try it at home. What I did is cut the different scales, different colors, and then I just started gluing them. I glued my main pieces on first, my, the tail, the, the dorsal fin, and the mouth. And then I went at and, and I made scales and I, I glued different colors all over the body. And so when it's finished, it will, it will look like, um, it will look very colorful and uh, um, a rainbow fish, you could say. I hope you had fun with your, our craft today. So just to let you know, we will be emailing out uh, all the pieces that, um, that I showed you today. So the Jesus and the fisherman in the boat and the picture of Jesus and our template for the fish. And if, if, um, if your parents can't print them off at home, there will be a package at Grace United Church and it will come with some some colorful construction paper for your fish and the template and the two pictures and so they will be at the office all you got to do is call the office before you come in and the number will appear um, at the bottom of the screen or in, in the next slide and uh, or and or come to the church and the address is going to be be at the bottom here as well um, so so that's it that's our craft for today and so I'm glad you came and uh, and and we're part of that as well. Okay, so when I'm praying the Lord's Prayer, especially when I'm praying alone, although I really have to stop myself in front of people because it's such a, such a great way to pray, I do it with, with actions. So this is how I pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to invite you to pray with me now. And like I always do, you might notice that I'll use actions. God of love, you are everywhere in my life. Jesus, my friend, you are beside me. You guide me. Fill me up with your love and light and help me live with the joy that comes of knowing I am loved by you. Amen. I want to thank Celia for her prayers and Cecilia and Celia for their songs today. And that's the end of our lesson today. But before we go, I'd like to show you something. Jesus picked fishermen, and there was a symbol that went with it, the symbol of the fish, to let everyone know that there was a follower of Jesus here, wherever this symbol of the fish went. And it is said that early followers would come along, and if they met someone else who followed Jesus, they would make one half symbol of the fish, and the other person if they knew what that meant, would make the other half of the symbol of the fish. And that way they knew that they were a follower of Jesus. And so before we go, I just want to let you know that I will send an email to your parents that will have pictures to color. And, and 
and a picture of the one of the of the of Jesus in the boat with with Simon and John and a picture of Jesus and you can color both of them and put them up on your wall and I'll send the template for the fish for the fins and uh, all the parts that you need so I hope you have a good week and we're just going to close the way we started here is the church and here is the steeple open up the doors and see all the people close the doors and listen to them worship and pray open the doors and watch them all go as they scatter God's love today so I hope you share God's love with everyone you meet and I hope to see you next time bye